So we were just talking about the weather this yes. morning, and you said it yesterday. I sat mm -hmm. right here, and you said we're going to have yes. heavy rain. I did not realize how heavy and for how yes. long, too. Yes, we definitely saw a period of very heavy thunderstorms yeah. move through the region mm -hmm. this morning and dumped about a half inch to an inch of rain across much of the area. This evening, though, we continue to deal with those showers and thunderstorms pushing up across the region. Some of the heaviest rainfall at this time is moving through Accomack County, and that could push up north towards Salisbury and Princess Anne and those regions before beginning to clear out. We're still dealing with all this rain, though, because this area of low pressure that was sitting directly right here last night continues to sit and spin across southern portions of Virginia. But as we head through the overnight hours, this piece of energy right here that's moving that you can see is pushing east towards our region will help to kick this area of low pressure out to sea, which will allow us to dry out as we head towards the daytime hours on Monday. Temperatures out the door this evening are pretty chilly unless you're down in Accomack County. Currently 70 in Wachaprig, 61 in Salisbury, but take a look up in Dover, 57 degrees, and then in Rock Hall, 56 degrees. So definitely is not the nicest night for the first week of June, for first weekend of June. And we still do have those winds out of the northeast at about 12 to 24 miles per hour with higher gusts. We're seeing that 32 mile an hour gust in Tangier. That's why we had those gale warnings across area waterways for much of the daytime hours today and still this evening. Taking a live look out on our Hertrick camera in Easton, it's a gray night. You can see the reduced visibilities all because of the rains falling out there. Currently 59 degrees in Easton. And then as we head to our Boardwalk Plaza Hotel camera in Rehoboth Beach, we're seeing much of the same thing. The rain's coming down and the surf is kicked up. We're seeing that those wave heights about four to eight foot on the Atlantic and southern Delaware bays. That's why we're seeing those high risk of rip currents this evening. Temperatures in Rehoboth are currently sitting right around 58 degrees. And look at that wind, east, 26 miles per hour in Rehoboth Beach. So as we move through the overnight hours, this area of low pressure finally gets booted out to sea. We begin to see the showers taper off, but the clouds are still sticking around. That will take until tomorrow afternoon before we begin to see those mostly sunny skies. And the temperatures, they'll be in the 70s. It'll be a great afternoon tomorrow after the wet weekend we've seen. And then the next chance of rain arrives as a cold front begins to move southeast across our region Tuesday evening, bringing a few showers and thunderstorms, but should not amount to very much. And then Wednesday, a bit cooler, and we see those partly cloudy skies across Delmarva. So tonight, it's 58 to 62 degrees. That's right where we are right now, and we won't budge very much through the overnight hours. We'll have those showers beginning to taper off, and those winds, they'll begin to come down slightly to north 7 to 14 miles per hour. Then tomorrow, a much nicer day. We begin to clear out. We see mostly sunny skies. Temperatures in the 70s, even at the beaches. 76 in Lewis, 78 over in Laurel. We move west, much of the same story. We'll be at 78 in Preston, 78 in Easton, and then further south, we'll also be in the 70s, so 77 degrees down in Chincoteague. And we warm up even more as we head towards Tuesday ahead of that cold front, 79 degrees Tuesday with mostly sunny skies before that cold front arrives bringing those thunderstorms. We cool down into the low 70s on Wednesday. Then the rest of the work week, we see temperatures in the 70s and 80s, and then our next chance of rain arrives next weekend.